<laughs> what is going on you guys happy it's saturday now <laughs> it is saturday and luckily i got some free time we did our normal saturday duties we went to hunter's soccer practice i think next week is his last soccer soccer practice for this season for the winter season his cousins came, so Josh's sister Erica came with Hunter's cousins Carmine and Bella. So after we had Hunter's practice, we ended up going to the aquarium with all the kids and got some breakfast and stuff like that. So that was fun. Hunter really enjoys being around his cousins and you know other kids in general anyway. By the time it was already way past Hunter's you know nap time, because he goes to sleep around 11. So we went home. Uh, Hunter is currently taking a nap. Josh is taking a nap too because he had to work um, his second job this morning. Uh, so he's running on a little, little bit of fumes. So while they are taking their nap, I'm going to go to Home Depot and get my soil because I'm going to start sowing my seeds today indoors for this upcoming season. I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. And then I'm gonna also look at some co composting bins too, because I started composting. Well, I didn't really start. I started collecting like our scraps and stuff like that. I need to put it in something. So I don't know if I wanna make my own compost bin or if I just wanna purchase one off of Amazon, but I guess I'll see when I go into Home Depot what they have in there. And yeah, so I'm feeling good. I got some free time. I got some time to myself. No babies hanging on me. Just quiet time and it feels good. It feels good to be at the house. I feel like for, for our mental health, you know, moms, for our mental health, we need to have some time to ourselves. And I haven't had any time to myself in months. So just this little errand to Home Depot just feels... <laughs> Like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. <laughs> I mean, of course I miss my husband and my, and my child, but I just saw him about five minutes ago. I need this time. I need this time to myself to just decompress and enjoy alone time. But anyway, it looks like Home Depot is kind of packed today. What's really going on? I think other people had my same idea. So yeah, I'll check in a little bit later. Well, alrighty. Me and Josh are going to this place that he found in Suffolk called, uh, is it fin fin and fin and tonic. tonic? It's like, I guess a speakeasy type of feel. So they have a restaurant, I guess like a regular restaurant. And then you walk through this door and you're in this speakeasy, so. Josh found this, what, on Instagram or something? No, I, mean, I heard about it a long time ago. I just never went, never thought about it. Going to it is always in Suffolk. So they have two locations. One, one is called Fin and Tonic, and another oh, one is... Steak and Tonic. Steak and Tonic. And that's in Newport News. Yeah. And they, that's the one that got, like, the exotic meats. Like, they got camel and kangaroo. And Stuff that I don't want anyway. Ostrich. So. <laughs> but anyway, we're going there for Josh's birthday. His birthday was Wednesday, but... We were, we were originally supposed to go there on Wednesday, but he, he got sick. So now we're going today. So this should be fun. I've never been to a speakeasy. <laughs> I didn't even think they still existed. Look at that. We have about 45 minute drive to Suffolk. We just dropped off Hunter. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Princess Anne Road. Danny is currently holding down the fort by himself and mom is on her way home from work. So we'll see how, we'll see how that at goes. At the light, turn right onto Princess Anne Road.
what's going on you guys happy Thursday I think the last time that we actually spoke was on Saturday when Josh and I went to Finn and Tonic and I gotta tell you I would definitely go back it was an experience it's definitely a novelty I feel like type of restaurant but I enjoyed it I really did I will say the drinks for me were a bit strong but I think that has a lot to do with me not being much of a drinker anymore since I've had Hunter I cannot handle much of anything but the requirement for the restaurants to sit in this week easy is you had to you had to order two drinks per person so we both had two drinks. They were really good. I didn't quite finish my second one though because I knew I was I, I was a driver. I had to drive home and of course it was for Josh's birthday slash date night. So yeah, the food was really delicious as well. Josh got the Wagyu steak and I ended up getting the salmon. And you know, I know this is another novelty but I like how they brought out my salmon and it was in like a little bowl with smoke around it and I feel like it actually helped to infuse the salmon a little bit because I had like a smoky flavor on the back end it was so good so I literally if you're in this area or in the Suffolk area I would definitely recommend going to Finn and Tonic they do have a sister restaurant I want to say in Newport News um, called Steak and Tonic Josh said he wouldn't mind going to that restaurant either so sometime along the lines we'll probably go there as well for a date night because we did say we're going to try to go to date nights you know once or twice a month so we're going to do that I did have a lot of fun with my hubby just us two and then yesterday yesterday was Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's Day Josh cooked us dinner we had Valentine's Day at home of course with Mr. Hunter man me and Hunter made white chocolate chocolate covered strawberries together and that was fun and then we toasted with Hunter with the Welch's the Welch's wine <laughs> which I thought was so adorable he enjoyed it and the rest of the night he was trying to toast us with our little our glass uh, cups and stuff like that my baby is so hilarious but anyway, we had a really good, you know, Valentine's Day. We didn't go out, of course, because Josh had to get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work. And I kind of have to get up kind of early with Mr. Hunter, man. Not too early, but 7 o'clock, 6.45, 7 o'clock for me is kind of early. You know what I mean? But anyway, other than that, we just been chilling. I did start my seedlings. And I'm excited for those. So I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry I will probably be talking about these seedlings forever until they start sprouting and I'm able to put them in our raised bed so <laughs> you know how I am but anyway uh, I just want to close out this vlog give you a run through of what's been going on so if you're new to this channel please subscribe like comment and I'll see you guys next time bye fam